I believe we all know people who just always tend to say the right things. But can it be taken a step further? Is there a such thing as saying magic words? This idea isn't new. It's been around for quite some time. And the the practice of casting spells and using language for magic, it, it has been in a widely adopted spiritual tradition. But does it have any, is it valid at all? Is there any credence to it? Um, this is a, a subject that is incredibly tricky to navigate. And in my previous video, I talk about the magic behind music. And if you watch that video, you'll understand what I mean. Language is one of those types of things like music where it is, it is patterns that is placed over meaning. It is a symbol that is placed over meaning. I explain all of this in my video, how symbols impact your everyday life that for example, now, as I'm talking or when you talk to someone, you don't think about what you say before you say it. There is a meaning that you are trying to get across and you're using patterns and symbols, a.k.a. language, in order to convey that meaning to someone else. But for the sake of this video, I don't want to really focus on the symbols themselves, but rather how they relate to the mystery. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, the mystery is a concept. It is, it is what lies beyond the human's ability to understand. Some people term this uh, God, Allah, the Tao, whatever you choose to call it. Uh, I find that, especially as I'm making this content, people are so easily triggered by whatever personal uh, story that they have with these various religions and deities that to use terms like God really um, hinders things. So I like to use the term the mystery. And within this context, there is the idea or the concept of glossolalia or uh, more colloquially, colloquially termed speaking in tongues. Glossolalia is very fascinating. It's, it's interesting in the aspect that for whatever reason, this is something that spans across all sorts of time periods, all sorts of different cultures, and it appears to always be related with some sort of spiritual psychosis or some form of ecstasy that... For whatever reason, when people, when people are exposed to the mystery, something happens and you essentially encounter the unutterable. It is what happens when you try and explain the unexplainable. It, it comes out as garbledy goop. You encounter the end of the dualist framework. You see the, the monoist ideal or the mystery as I term it. And it is like trying to explain what it's like to literally have your cake and eat it too. It is the unutterable to, to put it. It cannot be put any simpler than that. And this this thing of speaking in tongues, if you believe that the, the scriptures that have been written about it, there is some sort of way that it can be deciphered. That is to say that it there is some sort of magical property to it to where the information held within this garbledy gook has some sort of powerful magic to it. And this magic is termed prophecy. And could it be that participating or falling under the, the, the condition of this, this speaking in tongues phenomena, could it have something to do with the actual magic of language itself? And this is, this is tricky for me to try and explain. 
you see, if you view, if if you look at the example of the magic of music, that if if music itself is magic and the instrument is the tool used to decipher that magic, could you instead view language as magic and the instrument that is deciphering this magic is us it is the speaker and perhaps that speaking in tongues or glossolalia perhaps that it isn't a language but perhaps it is the language it is pure language uh, obviously i'm no linguist but terence mckenna believed that glossolalia uh, uh, it has syntax that is to say that it isn't just garbledygook. There is rhyme and reason to it. Uh, much of this is just intelligible. And this goes back to what I said in the beginning about symbols applied over meaning. That perhaps this speaking in tongues phenomena is someone participating in what, in what the most primal languages could be. And there is something to the... The, the fact that we communicate via verbal language, there is something to the idea of being able to apply meaning verbally. You see, there are all sorts of ways that we can communicate. You can communicate through all of our sensory perception avenues and channels. You can visually communicate uh, you can communicate via your sense of smell and taste, touch. There are all sorts of ways that things are communicated. But by far, the ability to communicate verbally, it obviously supersedes and surpasses all other forms. There is something to us hijacking the the frequencies of sound waves that has something to do with our ability to our ability to transfer meaning and if language is what we use to convey meaning what is glossolalia what is speaking in tongues because it is some sort of language but it is a language that we can't understand. So if I try to use my own reason, you could say that the mystery, which is what which is the the origin of this glossolalia, even within the scripture, it says that he who speaks in a tongue speaks not to men but unto God himself. You could say that the mystery is a meaning that we just can't understand. It is something that can only be be held you can only awe at it there is there is no more you can do than that and i i used to always talk about the idea of the realm of forbidden thought that the closer in proximity you get to this mystery you enter into a place where thoughts are forbidden you are per, you are not permitted to lay eyes upon it to think it to speak it and it is only through this ability that humans have of creativity it is something about the act of creativity where some people are able to bring certain things back and the way that it applies to today's subject of speaking in tongues that by some way if you are able to interpret this glossolalia, if you are able to make it somewhat make sense, there is supposedly powerful magic there. And this is the magic described in the scripture of prophecy. But one thing that I do know is language is powerful magic. It is one of these types of things like music, like all of the arts and the humanities where it has a lot of power and you can influence people in all sorts of ways just by using that muscle in your mouth called the tongue. 
And just off the top of my head here, I can pretty much say with confidence that the top three things that have ended human lives throughout time has been plague, time, and language. Many people have lost their lives simply not by what was done, but by what was said. And I'll continue to explore this idea of language and the basic magic, magical forces that we interact with on a daily basis. Because as I stated in my previous video, one of the main goals of this channel is to get people to wake up and see the everyday magic that we interact with, but for whatever reason have become blind to. Um, that's it for this video. Uh, please uh, follow my social media page. I have my Instagram linked in my channel. Uh, I have my locals page as well. Uh, like the video, comment, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, y'all have a blessed day.